I mentioned previously in this section about plotting to different file formats. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Output tab again. And what I'm going to utilize are the tools in the Output tab. So I've got my Export to DWF PDF. I'm going to export out this particular drawing to a DWF. So what I do here is I click on the down arrow and set that to DWF like so. Now what I'm going to do is save this out as a DWF and I'm going to allow it to open in the viewer when done so that I can show you Autodesk Design Review. I'm going to save this in the appropriate folder, so that will be in the Drawings folder. This will also be in your working files, so this DWF will be there in your working files as well, in your download or on your DVD. So everything's there. I'm not going to worry too much about options. I'm going to make sure that I use the current layout to the current page setup. So you'll only get this particular layout plotting, which in this case is the plan ground floor. So I click on Save, and what that does is it plots that out for me. So that's actually plotting that right now, and as soon as it's plotted, you'll see Design Review kicks in, and what happens then is Design Review opens up that drawing with all the plot settings. Now, Design Review is a viewing tool. It's completely free. You can go to autodesk.com, search for Autodesk Design Review, and download it. Won't cost you a penny. Now, the lovely thing about this is I can pan. I can zoom in and out, just like I can in AutoCAD. No problem at all. I've got various tools here. So you can see I can zoom. I can fit to window. I can zoom rectangle, which is very handy. I can select a rectangle like so, and it will zoom in on that particular part of the DWF. Let me just do a fit to window there now. The best bit about this though is I can mark up and measure using the mark up and measure tab. So I can actually add something like a rectangle call out with a rectangle cloud. So what I'll do here is I'll put a rectangle cloud around the kitchen area and then click like that and there's the call out and I'll place it there like that. Now I can type in what I want in there. So what I can put in there is something like check kitchen dimensions for example so we'll put in there check kitchen dims now it's a little bit small at the moment so i'll just click away from it and then deselect it hitting the escape key and i can zoom in and that says check kitchen dims that's great so i'll just fit to window again and that's ready to go now what i can do is i can save that and i'm deliberately going to save this particular dwf in your working files with the red lining on it so i'll save that there so as you can see, with things like DWF and Autodesk Design Review, you can send out drawings to be checked and have somebody using Design Review to mark up, as if you were plotting and marking up with a red pen or a highlighter. Now here, the markups show in a list, as do all your markup properties, if there are any. So that is all saved. So what I can do now is I can close Autodesk Design Review, and then somebody else can pick up this DWF in the Markup Set Manager in AutoCAD and edit the changes that need to be changed. And we'll look at that in the next video.